no word for light. There is no word for light in your language. The island knows it. Each blind grain of sand, each blade of grass shot through with God's own viridian. The mountain will not be painted, nor the river hold still for the poet to find the right words. But whether I find the words or not, light will enter the room each morning like an outstretched arm, fill the cracks between floorboards and the graying filaments of hair. I learned to pray in the language of light and running water before the yearning and the poems and the cracked spines of books. For this island has its own tongue, holy whisper of bamboo in the valley, hiss of water through gritted rock teeth at Galera. So what does it mean to go home when the tributary heaped with flowers sounds all the bells in my body, when the smell of the Atlantic rings the salt from my eyes and calls me daughter? Here has always been home, my mother's home, motherland, mother. There is no word for this light. There is only the praise song of parrots in gold September rain, only the shadow of some forgotten house worn down to bone by years of footfall and sun. Only names of plants and trees, true names, ones they answer to in the dark, in the fierce secret heat of growing things.